What's up YouTube? In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you what needs to be done to rank this awesome Shopify store on the first page of Google for keywords that drive sales. Mr. Lux, the owner of this amazing store, emailed me for help and I couldn't resist the challenge. Whether you're new to SEO or just looking to improve your skills, this video is for you. Get your notebook ready because I'm about to show you how to get results for your own site. Let's go. This is the website we are going to review and I'm going to give all the optimization suggestions so we can get this ranking on the first page of Google. The first thing we want to do is just make sure we've got the detailed SEO in extension installed. This is a great little tool and I'll show you what it does in a second. But if you haven't got it, grab it and then we just head over to our site. All right, so we're back on our site here. And once you've got the extension installed, just activate it. And here you go. So instantly, if we're looking at the home page here, we can see this title is way too long and also the description is way too long. It should be around 160 characters. Otherwise, it's going to be truncated by Google and people can't read it, basically. So these type of things need to be fixed straight out of the gate. We can also have a look at some of the other pages and just see what kind of state they are in. If we look at the, the about page here and we just activate the extension again, we can see again the title is too long and it's going to be truncated. Some of the other things we can do with the detailed extension here is we can have a look at the headings. We can see here that this has got a H1. We probably could sort of break this down a little bit, give it more structure. If we look at images, we can see none of them have the alt text. That's really important for SEO to put a good description of what the image is. If we go back to the home page and we activate the extension again, we can actually see the images for this page. There are 18 images without alt text. It's a little bit of work here, but it's not hard just to add those descriptions in. If we have a look at the headings on the home page, we can actually see it doesn't even have a H1 heading. So this is really important to tell Google and the search engines exactly what this page is about. We need to add that to our list of fixes. Just scrolling across the top of the menu item here on the, the extension, if we hit on quick links, and this is quite cool. These are operators for, for Google search. So if we click on this one here, what it does is it actually shows us that just for the domain that we are reviewing, it shows every single page that is indexed on Google. So for this domain, we're already seeing that there are 255 pages that are indexed. So I don't think there's actually a problem with the site being indexed on Google. Okay, so next, I just want to have a look at the page load speeds because this is a ranking factor for Google. So we want to make sure it's sort of in the ballpark and not causing any problems. I've gone onto page speed insights, put the domain in, hit analyze, and for the desktop, website, we can see it's actually not too bad. When I have a look at GT metrics, I can see that the actual load speed seems to be impacted by these large images on the on the home page when it loads up. So that's something we're probably going to have to take a look at and add to our list of fixes. If we go back to page speed insights, you get the option of clicking on the mobile and straight here what jumps out is this number here 24 that's really bad so i suspect what's happening is the large images is causing the the load speed to be dramatically impacted and the reason this is important is google indexes mobile rankings separately to desktop rankings so let's add these ones to our list of fixes okay continuing on with this high level overview of the site just to see what improvements we can identify. I like to use an app called Screaming Frog. It's 100% free and it's really, really cool. Once you've got it installed, just put in the domain you want to analyze and we're just going to hit start. Okay, so the scan is finished and it's given us a lot of data. I'm not going to run through all of it. Just be aware these tabs across the top are really handy to break it into individual areas of the site to focus on. For example, if we look at page titles, it's going to list all the web pages on the site and it's going to highlight down here the, the length. And so anything above 60 characters, we need to change it and update it so it's really clear about what the page is, but keeping it within that character limit. We've got the same with meta description. If we go in here, we don't want any more than 150, 160 characters, otherwise it's going to be truncated. So this gives us a really summarized 
view to to add to our hit list for fixes. Now, if I make the assumption for a second that we know how to use Shopify, we can go into Shopify, we can add H1 titles and also add the alt text to all our images and we can do these general tidy ups. With that said, the next thing we want to do is actually look at uh, some keywords and do a bit of keyword research. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I like to use SEMrush for keyword research. I've gone into SEMrush here and I've just added the term men's beard products and we can get a bit of an overview of you know, the, the lay of the land for this keyword. So we're seeing volume of around 1,600 searches a month for this keyword and globally a volume around 2,500. Keyword difficulty, this is really important. So this is a fairly competitive keyword. At 63%, we're going to have to have a fairly optimized site, a very good structure to, to rank for this, but I think we can do it. Other thing worth noting here, we've got a cost per click of $2.31. So if you're going to advertise on Google uh, for this keyword to drive traffic to your site, you're paying that $2.30 a click. So if we can do this optimization and get 100 clicks a month, for example, that's a huge saving. So it's definitely worth it if you have the time. Other things to take note of is we're going to look at these keyword variations. So these are the kind of keywords we want to use in content that we're going to create to help drive our traffic. SEMrush gives us keyword variations. It also gives us related keywords. Try to use the ones that have the lower difficulty and the higher volume. Okay, just before we jump off SEMrush here, it's worth just scrolling down a little bit further and we can look at this search engine results page analysis. So it's worth taking a look at these and one jumps out to me that I think we could produce some content that's going to rank equally, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower, but this one here, Fashion Beans. So if we go and have a look at this content here, it's the 16 best beard products for better care and styling in 2023. But in addition to that, so that it becomes a very long article and really makes it clear to Google that this is the best piece of content out there for beard care. Just take note of that because these guys aren't doing magic. They are just producing a really good piece of content that meets the algorithm's needs to rank high. If you're looking for more information on SEO or tools to help you with your SEO, head over to my channel and click on this link here. This will take you to the Ambitious Hub. In the Hub, it has all the resources you need to rank on the first page of Google. And just before we get back to the main video, good time to point out that the owner of the luxuriousbastardco.com, David, aka Mr. Lux, he has offered to provide a discount code to all of the ambitious community. Okay, so hopefully I haven't lost anyone yet. I know I'm going pretty quick through this. I will do a summary at the end. So next, what we're going to do is use a tool called Surfer SEO to do an audit of the landing page, the home page here, just to see how it thinks it would rank on Google compared to its competitors for the target keyword men's beard product. So the way we do an audit is we head over to Surfer and we just click on audit and it's going to ask us two things. One, what is the keyword, key phrase, and that is men's beard products, and what is the domain that we're going to reference? So basically, Surf is going to go away and say, well, for these keywords, key phrases, for this website, this is what you would need to do to rank higher. So the first thing it's doing is giving us a content score. So if we click on here and have a look at the details, we can see that the, our website in question isn't going to rank anywhere near the first page. The good news is that Surf is actually going to tell us what needs to be done. Now, I'm not going to run through all of these, but let's just take a look at a couple of them. If we go down here to the terms to use, this is where we can add content into our page to help Google better understand what the page is about and hopefully improve that ranking. For instance, over on our home page here, what we could do is this is a Shopify site. We could add a new section in between these two sections and another section in between these two sections. And we could put you know, 100, 200 words specifically around you know, maybe a, a beard brush product. Now, it's 90% relevant to our keyword and it has massive search volume and it tells us we need to add this keyword in there a couple of times within that paragraph. The other thing we can do is include some of these high volume keywords. By adding that content, you're also going to increase the word count, which is what Surfer is indicating that we need to do here. And in terms of word count against other sites that are ranking, you can click on here and you can see the home page here is at 452 on the word count 
and the best content is at two to three thousand. So it's pretty clear what needs to happen to get this site ranking for these keywords. If we go down a little bit further, this is talking about our metadata and our H1. So in our title, we haven't got any of the keywords. So if you actually look at uh, the, the Google listing for this site, you can see here, it doesn't have anything about men's beard care products. Now it would make sense if that's what you wanna go after to include it in your title. And again, it probably needs to be added into our meta description. Let's see what it says over here. Yeah, so it needs to have one to three of these exact keywords in our meta description as well. I would recommend that Mr. Lux, he grabs a copy of Surfer, runs this audit and starts making these updates. Okay, so we've done the audit of the homepage and we know what improvements need to be made there. Next, I wanna take a quick look at some of the blogs and blog posts that have been done recently on this site. And I wanna point out why they're actually not adding any value in terms of SEO. So if we go over to the blog menu here and we can see there's a bunch of really cool looking articles and I really like the layout and the way this has been done, but there is a major problem with it and I'm going to show you what it is. If we click on this one, now this has just been published probably within the last 24 hours or so. It's the ultimate guide to growing your first beard. All right, great images, really well laid out. Now, when I look at this, you look at the word count here. Now I'm gonna take a guess. This is probably around 400 words. I think this has come straight out of AI and I don't have any problem with AI at all, but let's just take a look. I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it into originality.ai. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Okay, now I'm just gonna paste this in and let's scan it. And there you go. It's 99% AI content. And that's actually not an issue, but the problem with AI content at the moment, and particularly chat GPT, it just keeps producing these 400 word standard bits of content. If I take this same content and we put it into Surfer, into the content editor, this is going to tell us, it's probably gonna highlight why this content is not gonna actually do anything in terms of SEO. So I've got the content on the clipboard here. I'm just gonna paste it in. Let's have a look at what content score we get here. Okay, we get a score of 16. And that's not surprising because it's just like 437 words. It really hasn't got any of the content required to tell Google that this is a site that is about men's beard products. And if you look through the keywords that are required, only four words out of all these are actually being used in this content. So Mr. Lux, what you need to do with this particular blog is come in here to Surfer for the keyword beard products for men. It's telling you what you need to do to get clicks, impressions, traffic to your site. Alrighty, if we want to generate a blog that is going to rank on the first page of Google, this is the way I would go about it. We've already seen how this content here on Fashion Beans is one of the top five ranking articles around beard care, beard product, men's beard products. So we want to create an article that is similar to this. The first step is we go over to Surfer and we click on the content editor. Just in here, you type in the keyword or key phrase you're going after. I've typed in here, men's beard care, for instance, and it creates a framework for us to build an article and guide us so that we can get on that first page. Now, I've actually done the work already for one here called men's beard products. Here's the article. Now, admittedly, it's probably taken me about an hour to draft this article, and I've got it up to a score of 75. So this is likely to rank on the first page of Google. It's, it's not difficult, but it has to be a quality article. Just follow the guidance from Surfer. If I was to publish this piece of content, I reckon in probably, yeah, that two to 10 days, it's gonna be on the first page of Google. The other thing I would do to this content is, you know, under this one, Beard Balm, I would have links, anchor text here, and it's gonna link off to that product on the product page on the site. Same with the beard wax. So I'm gonna have anchors and links everywhere through this article. And this is gonna be a highly valuable piece of content. It's gonna be on the first page. Okay, so the next recommendation I would have for this particular site is to further increase the number of backlinks. The way I would do that is using brand featured. I've talked about this previously in other videos using the link in the description. If you did your own press release, it's probably about $290. It's gonna go out to you know, maybe 80 to 120 news outlets. You're gonna get between maybe 70 and 100 backlinks from this. It definitely works, so I would add that to the to-do list. In summary, if we wanna get this site on the first page of Google, get more impressions, more clicks, more sales, this is what we need to do. If you've got value from this video, consider 
giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to learn more about how to rank on Google or Bing, check out this video here.